Divine Most High Creator of Creation, Divinus, Ancestors, Angels, Guides, Orishas, Loas, and Spirit Babies, I ask that you assist me in delivering these messages from the spiritual realm into the physical realm. I ask that you protect me and the collective as I channel from any hurt, harm, or danger, baneful magic, negative energy, evil entities, or forces. I ask that any and all hurt, harm, or danger, negative energy, negative entities, evil entities, or forces, or baneful magic be revealed and reversed and returned unto all the senders, as no one or nothing should send out any energy they do not want to have returned unto them. Ashe. Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Rosie. I am the head priestess of the Brew House Lair. What I do here on this channel is I illuminate various aspects of spirituality, divination, and magic for the collective and chosen ones. And I do this through intuitive readings, spiritual teachings, and channelings by communicating with ancestors, angels, or rishas, and spirits who are on the other side as well all right i also um communicate with the living so this is how i'm able to give you guys uh information on people through tarot or even uh through channeling i ask that you guys do not ask me to channel any bad spirits or evil spirits because i do not do that you're gonna have to find um someone else to do that Everything I do is to radiate light, not darkness. If you are new to my channel, hi guys and welcome. I'm very happy to have you here with us. If you are a returning viewer or a member, thank you so much for being a part of the Brew House Lair Tribe. A special thank you to everyone who views my content, gives me special thanks, joins my memberships, likes, comments, and subscribes to my channels. I also thank you guys who book readings with me and shop on my website. I really appreciate that. I also appreciate um, you guys' emails, and I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Okay, so this video is like a lot of other videos that I've been doing for you guys re uh, with the channelings. I want you guys to know that these channelings are very sensitive. Okay, so you have to watch them at your own discretion. Um, I also, I can only give you guys what the spirits give me. So when I channel, these things come to me in pieces. So let's just say your loved one um, name was John and they, mill, they lived at 123 Mill Lane. They're not going to tell me all of that. All right. They're not going to tell me um, always how they pass. They're not going to tell me every single detail. But I am going to do my best to give you guys um, what I am given. Also, keep in mind that this is a intuitive general reading. It is not personal. So this is not something that me and you are sitting down over the phone do, or even through email that we're doing through one on one. OK, this is something that is going to reach thousands upon thousands upon thousands and hopefully millions of people who need these messages all right so i ask that you guys keep a open mind and take what resonates with you and whatever does not resonate with you your situation leave it okay also none of these things that i say in these videos are projection if your children are living if your grandparents are living this is not for you okay so whoever has these videos are for people who have relatives loved ones family members who have passed on if they're still living this is not for them now in some cases if a person is missing and they're still living um or like they're not talking to you and they've like went on their way you know kind of push themselves away from everyone then it could possibly be for you but other than that please do not force the message 
All right. So the first thing that came to me um, while I was in Haiti, I was talking with um, the other priestesses and they were saying like how much they love what I was doing. And I was like, well, I've never been a one-sided reader. I've always been a universal reader. Um, but a lot of people who came to my channel came to my channel to watch the Spirit Baby readings. But if you pay attention, the Spirit Baby readings are also channelings because they are readings about babies who have not came into the physical yet. So I do do a lot of contact with a lot of those who haven't come into the physical yet. Now, what I was feeling so strongly, um, especially after reading you guys' comments for a couple of you know a couple of weeks ago, um, and even recently, was that a lot of the people who have passed on, like they're grieving too, not only because they're not here in the physical but they are grieving because it's hurting them how much you are hurting all right um they do love the fact that you have not forgotten about them however they want you to try to pick yourself back up and not live in that um there was a lady, and I'm not going to say your name, but you know who you are. We were talking about your brother um, who had passed. Your brother really does love you. Like, your brother's love for you is completely unmatched by anything. Um, and he wants you to know that he's, he's, he's okay. He's not really... In the headspace of like he's okay with where he is and he's not in a bad place but he's okay with the fact that he did have to leave but he did not want to leave you but that is what happened that is what he had to do but he wants you to know like every tear you shed he's there you can probably even feel him you know, trying to hug you and embrace you, you know, and with the grandmother energy, I felt the grandmas are just there for you, like the same way that they were before that they left, right? Um, they have this energy where they need you to understand that their, their, their time on earth had to be complete because they had something else to do and what I hear is my time was up my time was up you know and that is because you were you not only was this person this grandmother supposed to be your grandmother she had already signed off on before even coming into the physical herself as being your guardian angel. You were surrounded by an angelic being throughout your life. For some of you, you may not have even known your grandmother. For some of you, you may not have ever been able to physically be embraced in her arms however um she has always been there to hold you to help you and to guide you some of you have been in situations where your back was up against the wall you didn't know what to do and you were just literally at odds with whatever this thing energy spirit person was and you didn't see a way out not only did the divine help you out of this situation but your grandmother did your grandmother gave you the necessities you needed to pull you out of that she gave you i don't i don't want to say the energy because that's not the word but she protected you 
from those things, from those people, from those energies, from those forces that were trying to harm you. And although she had a major role in your life, for even those for those who were known and unknown to their grandmothers, because there are going to be some of you who didn't even get a chance to meet her. But I need you to understand that she was always fighting for you. She was fighting for you and you didn't even know it. And the powerful thing about that is you have warriors that are aligned to help you and do so many things for you but you just I'm not going to say some of you may not even know that they exist or some of you may not know that they exist in that way for you for some of you you are just walking into that door of spirituality Jack says hi <laughs> um Jack says hi someone someone made a comment and they was like it's not funny. Nothing about what I do in channeling is funny. But these spiritual beings that are on the other side, they, they try to be very comical because they have the energy of they have to laugh in order to stop from crying. You know, and even as I told you guys, uh, the video I did about the children, I had to keep pausing that video because I was crying. Um, I'm a very emotional person, especially when it comes to these. But when the spirits are laughing, it, it gives me so much joy because they're finding um, they're finding something happy, you know, within a bad situation. And that means a lot to me. So with the grandfather energy, what I am pulling and I'm going to I'm I'm not trying to like rush through this or anything i don't want anybody to think i'm trying to rush um but with the grandfather energy because they're saying it's my turn he wants you to know that nothing is nothing is your fault it's okay that you didn't get a chance to say goodbye you were actually not supposed to be there for some of you for some of you um you suffer with anxiety and depression. And had you been there upon his passing, it would have been even worse for you. You know what I mean? Like you would be you would you would probably be having to check yourself in somewhere for those of you who haven't, because you wouldn't have been able to process that grief so bad, you know, um, and that's why he's saying it's not your fault. Uh, there was a lady also, I'm not going to say your name, but you were talking about um, your grandmother passing in um, the hospital while every, you know, the whole COVID situation was going on. There was a woman and she and she was she was like, literally, when I was reading your comment, she was like, that's me. And when I turned around, it was a multitude of other spirits. And I was like, wait a minute. A lot of you guys passed in the hospital by yourselves and no one was able to be there for you because of the restrictions. That's 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 just sad in a way that is incomparable you know because i don't think the hospitals were thinking you know clearly that what position that though that they were putting both sides of the people in they wasn't thinking about you guys and they wasn't thinking about your loved ones and some of your loved ones um they still roam the hospitals because of that, because a part of them um, is stuck there. And I don't think that some of them know how to get their energy out of that that hospital, that place. 
Hospitals, in my opinion, became so haunted during COVID that I, I personally feel they all need a deep cleanse because they're trapping spirits, or should I say spirits have been trapped who are trying to be released. So if you guys are wondering why, for some of you, you can't feel them and your you know your spiritual um loved one has passed on for some of you not all of you okay not every single one of you but for some of you that is the reason why you're looking for clarity and i'm bringing you clarity as to why that is happening okay um are there things that can be done yes however um without them being done they're trapped there now they're not in any pain or anything but it's it's just that they're they're like their energy some parts of their energy is stuck there if that makes sense um for others of you there were a lot of restrictions with flights and delays and not being able to go to a certain city or state without proof of the COVID vaccine. Um, and I also hear that because someone is saying that they passed after taking the vaccine, you know, and it was it was just a real dire time and they are OK, but I can't say for sure that all of them are not um, a little bit upset about how things played out. There is a grandfather who is saying that, and let me know if this relates to you. Um, there is a grandfather who is saying that, like back in his days, um, there was a there was an outbreak, and this was similar, but the way that this was handled was not on the level that it was handled um, back then. And this is why he didn't get to say goodbye to you because the people that, you know, they didn't know how to deal with COVID. You know, um, a lot of people were not thinking. Like they were so distraught at what they were seeing. They didn't know how to react to it. And I want to say that this grandfather, um, or at least one of them, or a few of them, they had military experience. So they knew how to deal with um, crisis and disaster, okay? Um, <coughs> excuse me, guys. Um, so someone also, there's like a father and um it's not really clear on how he passed and it's not a father it's a couple of fathers actually and um he says i didn't get to say goodbye and i want to say goodbye now and that i love you so whoever that is for i hope you receive that message from your father one of them is saying that he has a daughter. One is saying that he has three daughters. And I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but it's actually raining um, here. Wow, somebody has seven daughters. Somebody has three sons and a daughter. So for some of you, you guys were even the only girl and you had brothers and you were like the only sister. Yeah. Mm. And it's an aunt. An aunt that you were very, very close with. Someone was very, very close with this aunt. Like, this aunt was also, like, your mother figure. She's saying I passed away 
and I wasn't ready to go. She's saying that it breaks her heart how you cry over her. But just know that your connection is never lost. Yeah, she's saying, you guys, connection is never lost. Hold on, guys. Somebody's at my door. I think it's so crazy how I'm talking about your aunt and then someone knocks on my door. Because she was saying, like, I'm still here. I'm still here. Like, I never left you. Like, you and this aunt had the most loving relationship. And it's like, I also get the vibe that some of your family members envied the relationship you guys had with each other. But it was something about what your aunt saw in you that she knew that she had to be there for you the way she had to be there for you. You get what I'm saying? And that's one of the things that makes her such a perfect guardian for you because she's always going to look out for you. So whoever that message is for, I want you to know and understand that. Like, you may have lost your aunt, babe, but you definitely gained a beautiful, a powerful angel who will always love you. And she says she'll be back. Um, for some of you, these ancestors, these loved ones are coming back as your children. And you're going to notice this when you may notice it before. Um, you even get pregnant or you may notice it after you have your baby because I'm telling you your baby is gonna look like the person you lost all right now they may have had hierarchy over you and what I mean by that they could have been an uncle a father um, a grandmother a grandfather and so on right but in this life you are going to get a second shot of being there for them how they were there for you and if it was anything that you didn't do that you didn't get to say whatever it is speak it out all right speak it out some of you are praying to Hannah you're praying to Michael um, Raphael Jophel if I say it wrong Again, uh, English is not my um, first language. So, yes. And I do want to say this in a video. When I mention blood is thicker than water, that is an old hood saying that I grew up on. I'm not talking about a Bible verse about the blood of the womb or however it goes. I'm not speaking on that at all. Anytime I'm speaking on something directly, I'm going to say exactly what I'm speaking on, all right? Because a lot of people try to come in the comments and try to correct me and say, no, this is how you actually say that. And it's like, no, that's not what I'm saying to the collective. Because you have to remember that all of you guys who have come across this video, looking at the analytics... All of you guys are not even in the same country. You guys are in different countries, meaning you guys have all sorts of religions. And I'm not here to judge anyone, all right? So I never try to break things down into one religion or anything like that because that's not who I am, number one. And this is for everyone, you know? Um but then a lot are not going to be able to resonate with the message, right? Um, someone lost a cousin and a brother. There's like a cousin and a brother 
who were together and something happened to them. Um, I get a couple of different variations of what happened. Like for some, I see like they were at a bar or a club. For others, I see they were in a car. So I'm not what sure what happened. For some, um, there is a cousin or a brother or a cousin to some and a brother to others. This person went to um, to try to start their career. And I want to say they were trying to start it within the music community. And you guys never heard from this person again. You know, and for a long time, this person was not okay because of, look, and there goes the sirens. For a long time, this person was not okay because of how they passed. How they passed, I can't say how they passed because you guys know how, um, you know, these platforms are, but they were unalived. Um and they were done very wrong. And f so for a long time, they were not okay. They were not. They were upset. They were, they were because they were being judged for who they were as a person. And I, look, the sirens are getting louder. And I hear because of their sexuality for some of them um, or for someone. Okay, so it may not be that for everyone yeah the birds or i don't know if you guys can hear the birds i hope you can hear them um which is crazy because it's raining like cats and dogs outside and the birds are like your ancestors your loved ones are talking um through the birds and i and i tell you guys that a lot um but like they were not okay but it's like they are now. They've kind of made peace with things that have happened. But someone is saying that they don't like how the world is. They don't like that the world is not as accepting. Because they were not accepted for who they were. They, you know, they were they were taken away because of because of that because of who they really are yeah not 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 they were set up they're saying yeah this 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 particular person was set up like when they got there nothing was like they thought it would be gosh that is that is something else like you got please be careful where you're going because i guess this is the video to do it in because of what you just said because this person came to me and i'm wondering if it's the same person who's talking now because there was a person who came to me and they were saying, tell them not to go on this trip with those people because they're not going to make it back. And I had no plans to talk about this in this video. I was going to make that a separate video. Yeah, I was going to make that a separate video because... I didn't want to put it in this one, but it's coming out in this one. And there are some, they're saying like there, there are a lot of us who have trusted people who have went to parties, who have went, who have went to cabins to other countries with people they thought that was their friends and they didn't make it back to their families. Wow. The other side is warning you guys. 
That is so powerful. I, I don't even know if you guys have a clue of how powerful that is, but that is powerful. For the other side to come and warn you, don't end up like me. That's what I hear. Don't end up like me. You can stop this now. Just don't do it. Somebody is saying that you even feel it. You even feel it. You even know you shouldn't go. But you don't want to disappoint your friends. I, I love each and every one of you. But I just want to tell you. Everyone who claims to be your friend is not your friend. Someone is saying they're going to make it look like an accident. They're going to make it look like you didn't love yourself. So they're going to, for some of you, they're going to try to make it look like you took yourself out. You guys, please, 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 please don't do it. Get your money back. And if you haven't spent your money yet, then yeah, continue to just don't go. Whatever it is, don't go. If you feel something in you that's like, no, I shouldn't go, don't go, you know. And if you're going to come in the comments and, and yell and, oh, well, I already paid for it. Are you going to give my money back? I'm just giving you the warning, love. I'm just giving you the warning that the spirits are giving me. It's up to you because somebody, somebody's very hard headed. They don't listen. I can, I can feel their energy already. They're very combative. They don't like for anyone to tell them nothing. Someone says, I'm trying to warn you. I'm trying to help you. But if you don't listen, you'll see. Yeah. Wow, guys. I really hope you guys listen because oh, a while back, I don't know if you guys ever heard about um, Kanika Jenkins, but that story literally still haunts me to this day because she was with her friends and it's like the video footage you see of her, you know, smiling and having fun. And then you see her ending. It's, it's so tragic. It's so tragic. The same thing with the lady um, who went to the other country with her friends. And she was a hairstylist and she didn't make it back. Like these, these spirits are warning you. They've already been through this. They've, they're like learned from their mistakes. Like they don't... <sighs> You don't know how hard it is even for them to have processed this, to have gone through this. And they're trying to save you for somebody. I don't know who you are, but the message wouldn't be coming through the portals if it wasn't meant for someone. If it doesn't pertain to you, L-I-G it, all right? This is not something that's going to resonate with you. You're not going on a trip all right. Um, and I find it very odd because I keep hearing somebody say, but they're my friends. They're my friends. They're my friends. This may for be this may be for somebody who's going to watch this. She's wrong. They're my friends. They're my friends. Baby, they are not your friends. I can literally see these people talking about y'all when you're not even in the room. They have like groups on the phone where they like talk to each other and you're not in the group. Like, you know how you can make a group on your iPhone or on social? You're, you're just not included in the group. They envy you for whatever reason it is. They envy you for something. They could be a karmic. For some, yeah, somebody's saying that a karmic took me out. 
and they've done that in every life. I'm trying to learn how to fight them. Yeah. Wow. Somebody's saying stop fighting and listen. Why won't you listen? Why won't you hear me? A man's voice is saying you need to get your ish together. That's gonna that's gonna resonate with someone, but I'm not sure who, but it is a man's voice. Somebody's saying, why are you afraid to be alone? You don't need those people. They're feeding off of you. You could be an empath. You could be a healer. And if you don't know this, healers always attract broken people. Um, for a lot of people, that doesn't make sense. But it makes very clear sense to me because obviously... If you can heal someone, if you have that capability of being a healer, then you're going to attract. It should be very clear and obvious that you're going to attract people who are broken. And those people are going to try to break you, which is why I always tell everybody, don't become like the people who try to break you. Yeah. I'm going to leave this here, guys. And the next time I do a channeling, um, if this happens to come back up, then we'll, we'll, we'll go back over it. But I love you guys. Peace, love, abundance to everyone. Um, be safe. All right. Be mindful. Be aware. Use your discernment, guys. All right. Um, this is not a projection. It's only a reflection. All right. See you guys in the next one.